It's one of the most highly anticipated space missions in recent memory. After more than two decades of setbacks and delays, the James Webb Space Telescope is finally cleared for launch. And expectations at the Space Center in French Guiana are high. And I think I speak for everyone to say that we're, we're really excited to see it launch. And uh, I think everyone's done everything they can to make it a successful launch as well. Webb is the most powerful space telescope ever built. Its mission, to peer back 13.5 billion years ago to the early stages of our universe. Scientists say the potential for new discoveries could upend everything we know about our place in the cosmos. Well, we're really trying to look further back in time and, you know, examine how some of those first galaxies formed. We're, we're trying to rewrite some of the astronomy books that exist right now. At the Space Museum in the city of Karoo, a new generation of astronomers anxiously await liftoff. And the excitement is just as high for aspiring scientists as it is for the grown-ups who have been waiting for this moment for years. I've been studying astronomy for 10 years. I'm very excited about this telescope. So many questions will be answered thanks to it. I study exoplanets, those planets that orbit stars other than our sun, and looking at their atmosphere, we could find possible evidence of extraterrestrial life. The Webb Space Telescope represents a collaborative effort by more than a dozen countries and the work of thousands of scientists and engineers from all over the world. The fairing sitting atop of that Ariane 5 rocket is housing the James Webb Space Telescope. And those rocket boosters that you see on the side of the spacecraft have been filled with some 480 metric tons of solid fuel propellant, just enough to blast off and send this payload some one and a half million miles away from Earth. With the rocket now sitting on its launch pad, fingers are crossed and collective breaths are being held for weather conditions to be optimal on the day of launch. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Karoo, French Guiana.